All right, let's do a transient simulation of a tank that is initially filled water and uh, through a hole at the bottom of the tank, the water is drained. Uh, perhaps if you take a look at the problem and the geometry, we can uh, I can describe this problem a little bit better. So here is my circular cylinder with the, with the diameter of one meter and the height of something like 0.25 meter. And... Uh, I have just made a simple circle at the bottom of the bottom of this circular cylinders to uh, emphasize the orifice or the the hole at the bottom of the tank. So since this problem is like uh, symmetric, you can split this geometry to half and delete one half of it and make your final mesh a little bit finer, but it's still with a fewer mesh uh, with the fewer mesh cell counts and uh, you will get a better solution at the end but uh, in this tutorial I have the full geometry so I'll not bother to uh, <clears throat> split this body to half and delete the half part of it so if I go to the mesh now so I have not done much uh, with the mesh it's just a simple uh, automated mesh the only thing I have changed is, is the sizing I can explain it on the mesh uh, once it's open so here is my geometry loaded in the mesh. The only thing I have changed is I've uh, I've changed this uh, relevance center to medium, and uh, and the transition to a slow. And I have made a automated uh, mesh for this uh, specific tutorial. What else I have done is this name selection. Uh, I have uh, right click on this and. Uh, and clicked on the name selection and I've called this orifice and the surface on the top which is uh, connected to the air to this operating condition I have called it outlet so I have one orifice which is my little hole here and then my outlet which is the top surface so if I close this mesh now and uh, just open my solution so this is a three-dimensional solution the transient simulation So in the general, in the general, the type of the solver is pressure based. Actually, the type of the solver is pressure based. And the velocity formul formulation is absolute. The time time is transient, and uh, make sure to pick up this gravity, check on this gravity, and uh, have this gravitational ac gravitational acceleration in the z direction. So, depending on your geometry, if your geometry is um, pulled up in z-direction then make sure that you put the gravitational acceleration in z-direction and and uh, negative value of minus 9.81 so when it comes to the model uh, I have picked a standard k epsilon with the scalable ball function for the viscous model and for the for the multiphase flow uh, for the multi-phase model, I have picked up this volume of fluids with two number of Eulerian phases, and uh, I have uh, I have selected this implicit body force as well. But uh, in the phases, go to the setup uh, setting up the physics and go to the phase and list show all. Uh, actually, my primary phase in this simulation is air. I have picked it as to be air. So I have recalled it to air and selected air from this uh, drop-down list. And my secondary phase is actually water. So I have recalled it to water. And I have renamed, uh, or I have picked up the phase material water liquid from the drop-down list. Actually, before setting up this, uh, <clears throat> before setting up this multi-phase flow, you need to define uh, these two material actually in the fluid. So the, t the, the default uh, air material, I have had it already, but uh, for the water liquid, you just go to this fluent database and look for the water liquid, which is uh, almost at the bottom of this list. So then you click on that and you just copy, and then you will have the second uh, material, which is the water liquid with all the constant properties of density and viscosity. So, the model is set up, the fluid uh, is set up, then it's time to set the boundary condition. A 
I'll just uh, click on the cell zoom conditions to make sure that everything is fine seems like it's fine so I'll just go to boundary condition the orifice which is my little uh, hole at the uh, at the outlet is uh, I'll double click on that <clears throat> it's a pressure outlet with the gauge pressure of 0 pascal and uh, regarding the turbulence specification I have made it like intensity and viscosity ratio and I've kept it as a default value and then you have two phases of air and water the air is my primary phase and the water is my secondary phase make sure to have this back back flow volume fraction to zero and the same for the outlet which is my top surface the gauge pressure is zero with the specification method for turbulence of intensity and viscosity ratio but uh, make sure that for the sex for the secondary phase uh, you put the backflow backflow volume fraction of water to zero because um, you don't want to have any water coming from the top it's actually just air that is coming up uh, that is coming from the top so if there is any backflow of volume fraction it's just air so just put this back uh, volume fraction of water to zero in the in the boundary conditions what else I need to change is uh, perhaps you want to play with the method no before doing that before doing that uh, in the boundary condition uh, click on the operating conditions so the operating pressure is at one bar and you have already selected the gravity with the with the gravitational acceleration specified in Z direction but make sure to check on this specified operating uh, density and uh, our operating density is uh, the density of the air here in the simulation this is an important uh, parameters that you need to uh, turn it on so press on OK go to method uh, you perhaps want to change the turbulent kinetic energy and turbulent dissipation rate to second order upwind but uh, for the sake of uh, speed I have uh, picked up the first order in this simulation so when it comes to <clears throat> when it comes to report definition or monitor maybe and the residuals are default I have not changed the residuals it's 0 0.001 for all the parameters but uh, <clears throat> but uh, for the calculation activities uh, I, I'm auto saving uh, the results every time step so I'm auto saving every every time step and I just pick one but I like to export my uh, quantities uh, solution data export uh, in the format of in the format of CFT post compatible and I pick all this one for example and I pick whatever I want from here static pressure or pressure coefficient dynamic pressure but the thing that is uh, very important here is uh, this volume fraction of water we would like to have it exported in the final results in the CFT post so make sure to select this one and press OK I have already done that so I'm exporting some uh, special variables here like absolute pressure uh, velocity velocity magnitude and this volume fraction as well <clears throat> uh, yeah regarding uh, regarding the initialization I have just initialized according to hybrid initialization and I have patched my fluid domain with water at volume fraction one this means that your tank is initially filled with the uh, water and the volume fraction of water is one so the tank is fully filled with water so this is also patched and then what you need to do is uh, just to run the calculation so this is a transient simulation I have not picked a very small time step this is a uh, this is quite uh, uh, a big time step for this simulation perhaps but uh, for the sake of the speed of the simulation I have picked only 0.01 time step size second of course 
the maximum iteration per time step I have selected like 120 to make sure that the solution converge before it, uh, it jumps to, jumps into the second iteration or next iteration so the number of time steps I have had like uh, the simulation for some 300 uh, number of time steps but uh, I have run this case before depending on your computer on your computer size or your computer um, specification it may this simulation may take uh, some hours like a few hours I can show you how far I have uh, gone in the simulation so you see I have simulated this uh, problem something like 12,000 iterations <clears throat> so I think I'm done with the simulation so what I need to show you is uh, to show some contour plots perhaps in the CFT post so I'll close this and I'll go to results <clears throat> and I open the CFT post <clears throat> So you see here, I have already created a plane, and I have um, I have the contour plots of uh, water volume fraction at uh, at the end of the simulation. So to create the plane, I think you know how to do it. You go to location and uh, press on plane, press OK, and uh, either you can have it on YZ plane or XZ plane it doesn't matter much but uh, I can I can make a plane in XZ plane for example and my Y is 0 it's uh, just in the middle of the plane so if I press apply so you see you have another plane uh, on the Y uh, XZ plane and then what I can do is to make a contour plot on my second plane the location is plane 2 and the variable that I would like to show is uh, the volume, water volume fraction and the number of contours perhaps 20 and I press apply make sure that you deselect plane 2 here because and then maybe you don't want to show the contour lines then press apply so here you see that you have your contour plots on this second plane here to make an animation is simple go to the go to this tab on the top it's called time step selector and you see that uh, you have run your simulation for some 410 time steps and the time that you have simulated this simulation is uh, for uh, 4.1 seconds so to insert this time value here it's also very very simple go to this text press ok and then when it comes to the text string embed auto annotation and the type that you need to select is this time value here and once you click on that the time value will be showing here so to, pre to, to make an animation go to <clears throat> time step selector press on this animate uh, time steps and then and then you just save the movie in the format that you you like either in mpeg or uh, av or whatever you like and then just press on this button and the video will be saved so i have already done that maybe i can show you the video animation here so here is my uh drainage video starting from time zero that you see the tank is uh, uh, fully filled with water and uh, after something like two seconds my tank is emptied half and then after four seconds the tank is fully emptied and uh, kind of fully emptied and you see this uh, you see this uh, free vortex that you sometimes or you always see uh, when you have drainage through a hole so I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned how to simulate a drainage tank with this multi-phase flow option you have in ANSYS Fluent. I'll come back with uh, other tutorials later. Uh, bye for now.